Hello everyone, James Wilson here, and it's been a while since I've done an actual video, uh, but it's definitely uh, time to do a video on why Lipkin won and um, reasons why Northpoth was incorrect on the election, uh, on, on their election predictions. And i um, not going to talk about anything about fraud or anything like that. I'm actually just going to go deep into the details of why Lipkin was more accurate than Northpoth. And I'm also going to give you my analysis and my theories on why uh, Biden won the election and how it related to Lipkin's 13 keys. So um, without further ado, I, I do want to say this. Northpoth um, was act would have been accurate on his prediction if it was for the fact that everything was more normal. Um, by the time the election hit, you had a lot of stuff that was going on. You had um, obviously the riots, the coronavirus. Um, I'm going to explain to you what, in my opinion, caused Trump to lose. Okay, and um, I will tell you this, Trump lost three states, um, and I'm trying to think of the math here, he lost three states by a total of about 43,000 votes. It's actually similar to last time on a video I did where I said, well, Trump won three states by a total of 79,000 votes, and that's how he won, and it was going to be very hard for him to do it again, and... Um, I have to say I was impressed that he got more votes, but Biden just absolutely blew him out of the water as far as voting is concerned. So, yeah, Trump did great compared to every incumbent president. He actually did extremely well. However, it just wasn't enough, you know. And um, and so, you know, when, when you look at Limpton's Keys versus North Poth, um you know, whoever won the primary of New Hampshire, South Carolina, things of that nature. You know, North Poth, in a way, is correct as far as normal situations is concerned. But I think Lipkin, uh, Lipkin is more detailed when it comes to why in the 13 keys. But I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to say this, it's not entirely accurate, but you have to look at the big picture. Lincoln was right, North Poth was wrong. It's that simple, okay? So going over the party, uh, going over the uh, 13 keys, that's the first thing I wanna do. I mean, as I said before in my last video, I, I don't agree with the um, foreign military um, success because of the peace of the Middle East, but here's the problem with that. This, I, I wasn't even thinking about this, but it makes logical sense. Um, if people don't know about it, it didn't happen, folks. Okay? The media really wasn't reporting on that. No, no one really knew. I mean, and I'm, I'm going to explain to you the type of voters that voted in this election and my theories on when you have a higher amount of people, a higher percentage of people voting. I'm going to explain to you my theories on, on that. And that was part of the reason why North Poth was incorrect. So even though even though this is technically a success, the media really didn't report it. People really didn't know about, you know, Trump getting like three three Nobel Peace nominations and and peace in the Middle East. People didn't really know about that. They really didn't cover that too much. So, you know, it's like if the sky is blue. But everyone keeps on telling you that the sky is red, the sky is red, the sky is red. Eventually, there's going to be some people that are going to believe that the sky is red. And that's just the way it is. So, um, you know, and, and I'll say, you know, when he does his tweeting and he does, you know, the bleach comments and some dumb comments that Trump made in the past. Definitely didn't help him, but that wasn't the fork that put him down. Okay. And uh, no one really has talked about this too, too much, but I've noticed a pattern, okay? And I'm going to explain to you why, in my opinion, North Poth was incorrect. And Limpkin, um, 
uh, he was correct, but you know, in the future, he may not be correct based on my theory. So, why did Trump lose? Was it because of the riots? I don't think so. Was it because his tweeting? I don't think so. Okay. Was it because of the coronavirus? Um, I believe the coronavirus was an indirect reason why Trump lost the election. But the real, the main reason why, and I looked at the numbers and I looked at the statistics. The main reason why Trump lost this election was because of Joe Holder. Who is Joe Holder? Joe Holder is the mail-in voter. Okay? And when you look at the numbers as far as how many people voted, how many people voted in this election, the numbers were just was astounding. Over 25 million more people voted in this election. It was just unprecedented. Okay? And you had way more mail-in voting because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus was an indirect cause of why Trump lost. If it wasn't for the coronavirus, you wouldn't have had all these mail-in ballots, and you would have had people that walked on glass to vote for Trump. Okay? But Mr. Joe Holder, the mail-in voter who typically doesn't vote, receives a ballot in the mail... And he says to himself, wow, you know, I don't have to wait three hours in line or four hours in line to vote. And Joe Holder lives in the city of Atlanta or the city of Philadelphia, or he may live in, you know, Detroit or anywhere, anywhere really, to be honest with you, that didn't have mail-in voting before, okay? He says to himself, I can actually vote. All I have to do is fill out a few things, send it out, and bada boom, bada bing, I am done. Okay? And I'm going to talk about different types of voters in another video. But Joe Holder typically doesn't vote. Um, and if he ever did vote, it would be probably by mail. And Joe Holder is... Um, not the brightest, at least when it comes to politics. He doesn't really know the issues too well. He doesn't know what's going on. All he knows is the coronavirus is there, and CNN and, and MSNBC and even other Fox News, these main media outlets are just pounding Trump left and right, saying that he's terrible, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he made a couple mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, but... You know, they're saying that he's terrible and everything, and these people, they don't want to wait in line for three hours, but when they get that mail-in ballot, they say, they say to themselves, Mr. Joe Holder says, I saw something that Chris Como say, an orange man bad, and I'm going to vote against Donald Trump. These people, I'm telling you, Joe Holder, he doesn't know anything, really. He's just one of those swing voters that never vote that when given a mail-in ballot, he's an influenced heavily by the media, enough to where he's just going to vote for, for Joe Biden, you know? And so, you know, yes, you have to ask this question, James, do you have any proof that that's actually the case, that if, if mail-in voting was that much, was it, is it really true that he lost because of mail-in voting? Let me tell you something. If the entire country voted by mail, and I'm, I just said, I'm not going to talk about fraud or anything like that, but if the entire country voted by mail, Democrats win every single election. As long as the mainstream media, as long as it's their narrative. Okay, so I guess technically a Republican could win if everyone voted by mail, if the mainstream media supported Republicans. I mean, I guess that's possible because you have people that, you know, you have half the country, 25% um, Democrat, 25% Republican, I should say conservative and liberal. They know who they're going to vote for. They know the issues. They're pretty much um, educated on that. And then you have a certain population, half the country that doesn't know deadly squat. And I'm not saying that they're all Biden supporters. There's some Trump supporters that don't know anything either. <laughs> you know, I've seen stuff on YouTube. and I, There's some stuff on the other side, too, 
but mainly Bi Biden voters, mainly Biden voters that voted in this election. And they mainly voted by mail because of the coronavirus and the media just pounding on Trump. They just pounding on Trump um, all the way through. Okay. And they're highly influenced by the media. So my, as I said, my idea, my opinion about it is when you have more people that vote, you're going to have um, a less of a knowledge base per capita. Less people are going to know really what's going on. When, you, when I say less, I mean when you average everyone out, they probably won't do as well as far as knowing uh, p political knowledge. A political knowledge is not going to be as high. So how are they, why are they deciding to vote for a particular candidate if their knowledge isn't very high? And the reason why is because of the mainstream media. The mainstream media controls the narrative. So when you have all these ways you can vote by mail, in person, drop it off, whatever. If you have all this stuff that's going on and it's so much easier to vote, the main, it gives more control to the mainstream media. That is my opinion, okay? And I, as I said before, if you vote by mail, it's going to be, um, if, every, if the entire country voted by mail, the Democrats would probably get maybe close to 100 million votes, okay? And the Republicans may get uh, 80 million. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. I mean, because there's honestly, there's more, there's more liberals and, and conservatives, a little bit more. But at the end of the day, it's whatever the, me the narrative the media controls, okay? And so this has nothing to do with Lickman versus Nordpoth. Um, but it has something to do with, um, I, I'm going to say, the, the short-term, long-term economy and social unrest. Um, the coronavirus has something to do with each of these three categories, okay? Short-term, it hurt, hurt, definitely hurt the short-term, the long-term. <clears throat> it hurt a little bit. I mean, they're getting, we're getting better, you know, and that's, I think that's why Trump won so many votes, but the social unrest, yeah, you can talk about Black Lives Matter and all that kind of stuff. I think that was, I, I just feel that did not, was not the icing on the cake. I, I felt that it was the coronavirus and the mail-in voting. Because if we had the coronavirus, but we didn't have this massive mail-in voting, I believe Trump would have won the election. He would have gotten a minimum of 269 electoral votes. He would have won Arizona, Georgia, and Wisconsin. And so, you know, when you look at that, uh, Lickman was correct in, in, in the social unrest because I do feel that the coronavirus is a part of that um, just because of the mask and all this other stuff, you know, anti-mask versus pro-mask. It does create some unrest overall, how people feel about it and things of that nature. Um, but I want to go ahead and talk about mail-in voting because that's why Trump lost and that's why North Poth was wrong. I mean, no one ever thought about this before, um, but it's, it's the coronavirus that caused the mail-in voting. I want to talk about why my theory is correct, okay? And so I did a trend, and I'm going to do a trends video on the entire election on all 50 states. I'm actually going to do a trends video. And um, I'll just say this, 42 out of 50 states trended to the left. Only seven of them trended to the right, okay? So, you know, if you talk about fraud and all that kind of stuff, well, it's going to be very difficult to prove that there was fraud if the states, the majority trended to the left, but that's, that's for another video. So going back to mail-ins, um, this is a 2016 um, election result. Now, now Wikipedia, I had these numbers through Wikipedia. They're a little bit different. But um, it has Trump winning 45.1, Hillary with 27.2, but then you also have to include the conservative candidate of Evan McMullen. And then Gary Johnson, um, he's, no, he's neither conservative or liberal. He is a libertarian. And so typically I would throw them out. Um, I won't even include these in my, in my data. Uh, Jill Stein was extreme liberal. And I believe that she won enough votes for me to, um, to include that, to include it. So 
Um, this is what I got from Wikipedia. These numbers are semi-different. But in 2016, in the state of Utah, the conservatives won 67.1% of the vote. This here it says 66.4. Wikipedia says 67.1. Whatever. Okay, you, 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 you get it. Um, the liberals won... Um, 28.3, so 27.2, and I said 28.3, okay, that's very close too, you know, but you, you, you get it, okay? The difference in it, uh, the difference in voting between liberals and conservatives in Utah was 38.8% in favor of, of the conservatives, okay? And the reason why I'm bringing Utah up in this example is because Utah was one of the states that flipped entirely to mail-in voting. And this is a deep red state that decided to flip, flip it to mail-in voting. No one voted in person. All right? Nevada did mail-ins too, but they could also vote in person. In Utah, you cannot vote in person. This is entirely by mail. And so when you look at 2016, where they, it was just a normal election, you didn't really vote by mail, Republicans had about a 38 to 39 point lead, okay? And so when you go into 2020, okay, it's a little bit different, okay? 2020 and 2016, look at Clinton, 27.2% versus Joe Biden 37.7. Also look at this as well. Donald Trump re uh, received 515,000 votes in the deep state red state of Utah in 2016. Joe Biden had 560,000 votes. He had more votes. Joe Biden had more votes than Don uh, in 2020 than Donald Trump did in 20 in 2016. That's because of mail-in voting. Okay, look at Donald Trump. He had 865,000 votes, 58.2 to 37.7. That is a 20.5% swing, according to this here. Um, I have it 20.4 uh, according to Wikipedia, but it, it's the same thing. So you're looking at a 38.8 in favor of, of, of the conservatives versus 20.4 in favor of the conservatives. That's an 18.4% swing in favor of the liberals in a deep red state of Utah. So you're looking at <laughs> Utah had the biggest shift from uh, from from uh, conservative to liberal. It was number one. And they, they were the state <laughs> that decided to do mail-in voting. I mean, look at this. Hillary Clinton, 310,000 votes to um, Joe Biden, 560,000. Joe Biden had 250,000 more votes than Hillary Clinton did. It's due to mail-in voting, folks. It's Joe Holder, the mail-in voter. That's why Trump lost. That's why North Poth was incorrect. Okay? So, when you... Uh, and this is just how I feel. When you when you do an election now, you gotta, you got to see... It, it's important to see how they vote. Okay, it's not it's it's it, when you have half the country that typically doesn't vote or maybe 40 percent that typically doesn't vote, um, but then receives a mail in ballot and then they vote anyways. And now it's up to like 80 percent participation or something like that. You're going to have a lot of people that vote that don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, I'm just being honest. They don't know. And it's rather Republican or Democrat. I mean, you have some people that may have voted for Trump that. They didn't know what they were, they didn't know the issues. They just said, oh, I, I like Trump because I ride the rebel flag, whatever, you know. It's not all Biden, but it's majority Biden, okay. And that's when you listen to, you know, when you listen to the ma mainstream media and mail-in voting, when you mix in the mainstream media and mail-in voting, the chances of the mainstream media getting their guy goes up significantly, Okay. And as I said, I'm just going to drill it and drill it and drill it. You have half the country that knows what's going on. Even the liberals, even though I don't like their opinions and stuff. And, 
you know, you have to force people to help others and all this other stuff, you know, um, higher taxes and all this other garbage that I would like to call it. At least they've done their research. At least they know it's, at least they know, you know, and conservatives are the same way. They've done their research. But when you have half the country that doesn't know anything about politics and all of a sudden they're voting because they receive a ballot in the mail, well, you know, um, things change. And so, as I said, um, that's why he won. That's why Trump lost the election. And yes, he did lose. Okay. There's still a uh, population. Uh, there's still probably about 15 to 20 percent of the people that's in this country that still feel that Trump's going to be inaugurated. <laughs> He's not. I'm not one of those people. I'm not. I, I, I didn't prolong this video because... I felt that something was going to change. I prolonged the video because I didn't have time to do one. You know, and my job, I, I, the job that I do, we're very, very busy, and I just didn't have time to do a video. So um, take it as you wish. But um, Nick Nick was right. I, I'm going to say mainly because of the economies and the social unrest, not because, I mean, obviously the Black Lives Matter, did it help? I don't know. You know, I, did it hurt Trump? I don't know. Because the Black Lives Matter movement made a lot of people vote for Trump. I'm, I'm telling you, Trump received almost 75 million votes. And I know it helped the Democrats as well. They received more votes based on the Black Lives Matter. I just feel that wasn't, that, that's not why he lost. I, I feel the reason why he lost was because of the coronavirus, which caused the mail-in the mail -in ballots, which caused the, caused by the coronavirus and Quite frankly, it doesn't matter how he handled it. He still would have lost because if you didn't have the coronavirus, you would have had the Black Lives Matter. You would have the people mailing in their ballots because of that. I mean, the mail-ins, period, is why he lost. And I know this has nothing to do with mail-in ballots. doesn't have any direct correlation with these 13 keys. But the only things that I can come up with is a short-term, long-term economy and social unrest. And things changed uh, since February when he made his prediction. When North Poth made this prediction, things changed. And so, you know, um, as I said, I do uh, agree with the charisma, but 7 out of 13 is, is, is not enough, according to Lickman's 13 keys. So um, I'll give it to him. Congratulations on the win. And, um, you know... We'll see what happens in the next elections. We'll see what happens in Georgia. I, I you know, with the mail ins I think the Democrats are probably going to win. Uh, I, I think Purdue has a shot, you know, but I think the other candidate, I, I, I forgot her name, but I don't think she's going to win. Anyways, like and subscribe to my channel. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.